Alrighty. Hope everyone had a good weekend. webcam on how's it going so for today's look i um i kind of like the uh, sort of darker forehead but it didn't look quite right so i my sort of main inspiration here was um if you're one of the like 12 people who played mass effect andromeda i basically was inspired by uh, pb from that so i mean her sort of eye strip is straight up um a black one but i just went for a slightly darker shade of purple and I kind of like it. But yeah, not much else to report. I might uh, be, uh, after I've streamed, I might be um, finally casting uh, the uh, mold for my new horns, but we'll see how that goes. So let's just get straight to the game. Oh yeah, and because it's actually getting kind of cold here, I've done the sensible thing and put on a jacket. Hey Nerlis, how's it going? Yeah, I've done the sensible thing, put on a jacket. But I do need to emphasise the size. This jacket's actually a bit small, so it's only really any use for being on camera. It actually used to belong to my mum, which is uh, pretty much the only reason I still own it. So yeah, hopefully everyone's had a great weekend. Adjust the microphone. Doing okay. Finally got the Breath of the Wild DLC. And what's new Xbox controller since the one you've been using is broken? Oh uh, yeah. Like, the Xbox didn't have any sort of issues with a uh, Joy-Con drift or anything. But they did sort of wear out after a while. So yeah, for those who uh, weren't here on Wednesday, basically we're in, yeah, here we have the um, Man at Legs, one of the worst bosses in the entire game. They can and basically will uh, wipe out my entire Pikmin army, if I'm not careful. So we'll put the boss in charge of everyone but the blues. Just to keep them safe. And we'll have him wait here behind the barrier. So yeah, hey Aki. Okay, I have to say this out loud. Casual business teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's actually sort of the um, look I sort of first conceived for this character. It just sort of like a, uh, well, I also had some fake glasses I couldn't be bothered to pick up, but sort of like a lesbian uh, Daniel Jackson look. Oh, thank you for giving Aki the shout out, Nellis. Oh yeah, I think I managed to catch just the end of your last Parasite Eve stream. Oh yep, yeah, so you're not quite at the end of Parasite Eve then.
You know who that character is? Yeah, the guy from um, Stargate. Pretty sure Nick would execute me if I didn't know. Okay, so it's overheating. Icky, no, one day to go, one hour to go, if you know what you're doing, so you're guessing 2.5 for you? Oh yeah, I mean, to be fair, that's probably like 2.5 in streamer time. So yeah, this could be a very uh, frustrating boss fight. Icky, better bump up. Hey now. No self defaming that means you. Oh yeah, just to check, is the audio okay? Because the game's incredibly loud for me right now. Audio is okay, excellent. Okay, I missed. I mean, I always miss because there's, that's my, um... Proper title, but you know what I mean. Okay, that was a mistake. Oh no. <laughs> exactly, Icky. Quote number 251. The moral of the story is, if someone's got a gun, don't swallow them. I'll probably just shoot you in the stomach. It's an important tale. Oh no! I did not think this through. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to start this again. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Yeah, me just remembering there's actually a reset button. Which chorus actually works like the uh, GameCube reset button. Like, I was just casually um, looking up stuff about the uh, Wii. And then I remembered that was actually a thing. Which is going to make this so much easier. Anyway, I mean, I could in theory skip this boss. Come, maybe come back with um something more suited, but. Whoops. Okay, so we'll have the president control the uh, blue Pikmin because he's got slightly high health at the moment. Also, you know, he's middle management, so inherently disposable. And all I'm marking wait behind here. Okay, let's begin.
this would be so much easier if it wasn't hanging around by the water. For a second I thought that was a stray Pikmin. And then I realised it was my cursor. Okay, I won't have enough time to get to it and run back again, so I'm not going to try. Okay, here we go. Since it's done firing, I need to make a run. At least it doesn't regenerate, eh? I think I've got this in the bag now. Unless as long as I don't do anything particularly stupid. What the hell? Did it just wipe out all my... What was I saying before? Like a fool? A chair? A clown? <sighs> I am the worst Pikmin mum. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. I really can't exaggerate. The um, controller goes absolutely wild while it's being shot. Uh, while the wall's being shot, I mean. Okay, they all made it. Icky, a potential advantage of the wave bird there, if one is bothered by rumble. I mean, not especially, but, you know. I, mean, I guess it sort of elevates the experience. Okay, come on. Come closer. Bring it. Yeah, the main disadvantage of um, basically one of the um, items I picked up a while back, the um, rush boots, basically means my captains run slightly faster. But this means um, that the Pikmin take a moment to catch up with them, which is actually does actually seem to be throwing me off quite a bit. Oh no! Well, that's absolute nonsense. Like, 
it can't hit me until it can. Yeah, exactly, Iki. Hell no. <sighs> well. You know what? I really miss kind of uh, wearing this cosplay with um, my hair actually dyed purple. I. My hair is sort of its natural brown at the moment, which kind of works, but not quite. And I don't really want to dye my hair again until I've had a chance to bleach it. So the colour looks good. It's going to be weird um, getting to the end of this um, area and having more than 13 blue Pikmin again. Sorry, 17 blue Pikmin again. Okay, maybe I should be brave about this. Holy shit, I can't believe I got... Run, Pikmin, run! Yeah, he made it. Okay, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. No, unless you're not sure how similar Overlord minions were to Pikmin as far as controlling them. But can I move them around with the thumbstick? Are they able to run faster than my captain and run ahead instead of behind? Oh, you can move them about with the uh, C-stick. Uh, no. I'm not sure how easy it is to see, but basically the boss does actually uh, sort of target individual Pikmin here. Like, if there are any stray Pikmin, it will pivot its gun and shoot at them. The game resolution is lower on stream than before. Or is that just the Wii? The web camera seems fine. Huh? Uh, I haven't changed any settings. And it's basically the same as it's always been. Unless I've accidentally changed the size or something. I don't think I've changed anything, unless it looks a bit choppier than usual. Just a bit more pixely than you thought you remembered. Hmm. That's odd. I really wish there was a quicker way of uh, separating my Pikmin out, but...
Then again, you're sitting in your room and not at your desk or on your bed like usual, so the laptop screen's slightly further away. Ah. That could be it. Okay, so it's immediately going to shoot at me to start with. Good lord, that water's annoying. No! Okay, I lost two good Pikmin. Okay, I guess I, what I will try is I'll try pushing the uh, control stick ahead to see if they meet faster. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, down to seven. Oh no. Good lord, this will be a lot easier without this water. Okay, so if it starts aiming over the um over the barrier, I just need to move that further down the barrier. Okay, I'm down to seven, so... Yep. Okay, one thing I'm just going to try quickly is I'll try and do a hard reset and see if that uh, change affects the resolution at all. Oh yeah, as an aside... Uh, yeah. Switching the uh, console off while I was mid rumble like that actually caused the um, controllers to go absolutely wild. Oh! Didn't want to do that.
that was the old, um, I guess, the weather menu. Oh, the news channel. Fair enough. Yeah, they really did try to make the uh, GameCube do uh, GameCube the Wii do everything. Yes, I don't know if this is making any difference to the uh, resolution at all. Hmm. Not that I can tell. And I'm sorry, by the way, this has just been a 30 minute long stream of me um, trying to beat the same boss. Mostly it was the numbers on the game HUD that looked extra pixely. Icky, you forgot if uh, you were able to make your Wii U boot GameCube games with just a GameCube controller. Yeah, I keep having to remind myself the Wii U wasn't just like a tablet thing. Like, it had an actual sort of um, Wii style console it all plugged into. But then again, I never had a Wii U, so maybe that was it. Okay, so if they're over here, they should be safer. hide behind here to avoid its opening salvo. Notice it could be better now. Oh, okay. If you don't worry, you failed the same XCOM Charmira squad mission for an entire stream. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I think my worst ever experience was the uh, final boss of Mario and Luigi. Like, I spent like two multiple hour streams trying to beat it. And in the end, I just gave up. In hindsight, it was because I was missing uh, that it did actually have a... Yeah, it did actually have a tell I was missing. So maybe I could try it again and beat it now, but, you know. Icky, Mario and Luigi is when I, you started watching me. Oh wow, that was ages ago. Oh no, I'm sorry Pikmin, I failed you. It because I messed up. Resolution still looks okay. Now the frustrating thing here is um, I could probably uh, just drop down to the next level and come back another time. But I feel like I can sort of make it through the boss. 
So I feel inclined to actually tr try. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed my time streaming Mario and Luigi. It was one of my childhood favourites. Like, first game that I ever had sort of actual laugh out loud, loud dialogue for me. Like, I still remember that one gag where Luigi's gotten bored with the expedition and just, just sitting there casually poking at the uh, guy giving it. Okay, that was a washout. Need to get a bit closer. Get back here, you fool. Hey, Lenny. Long time no see. It's going great. Uh, Busy weekend, but you know, now I'm just sort of living my best life. Day off, dressed as a purple teeth, and uh, streaming some Pikmin. How's, how's it going with you? Sick. You're rewriting your game engine from scratch, you know, could be better, and that's all good. Wow. Oh, wow. Here we go. Come on. I didn't know you were writing a game engine.
Okay, I lost the Pikmin. Okay. Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. You haven't learned how to brew coffee, put everything in place, but never put the machine on. I'll be honest, I do that all the time. Like some days I'll wake up in the morning, wonder why I can't hear my machine, and then I'll realise the um, I've got to put the uh, lid down and it's just blasted the steam all over the uh, kitchen instead. Okay, I need to be standing directly under in its shadow. Oh yeah, just to the um, I just use a. Well, I have an arrow press, but I mostly just use a uh, perchlorator, just like one with a timer on it, so I can have fresh coffee in the morning as well. Okay. Come on. Come on. Nearly there. 
Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly. 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 Come on, finish him. Just a couple. Okay, we're nearly there. Just a couple more shots. He's almost down. He's almost down. Yes! We are in business. Wow, it would have been awkward if I literally um, didn't have enough uh, blue Pikmin to carry that. Okay, guys, we're done here. And it only cost 11 Pikmin. Could be better, could be worse. Oh, apologies if um, you can hear the fireworks going off outside, by the way. Memorable gyro block. Well. Onwards and forwards, I guess. Okay, so I'm like 90% sure there's like 17 sub-levels here. Okay. Oh, wow. So what we'll do here is we'll send one of the captains to scout. Olimar has slightly more HP. Oh! God. This wouldn't be so bad if it went for the water.
Maybe what I should do is if I should um <coughs> cut my losses and make a uh, rush for the nearest exit. Because with the, that water around, I can't really um. Yeah, you know, I'll uh, just hop to the next level and we'll find an exit and I can uh, just skip the next few, um, well, I can come back with a full, um, sort of, uh, compliment of Pikmin. Okay, final floor. Maybe I'll see what the boss is. Oh. The flat jack is that thing. Yeah, we're coming back with a full army. So what I basically need for the penultimate level is uh, more water Pikmin. I lost quite a few uh, white Pikmin. Uh, what we'll do here... Make it thirty reds. Forty blues because they're the only ones who are gonna be able to reliably uh, damage the boss. Five uh, purple. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good team comp.
Okay, let's go. Kind of wish I had more bitter juice, but we'll see how this uh, one goes. So, yep. Oh, apparently left someone behind. There you are. Come on. Okay, so we're gonna basically speed run the uh, first um, 13 or so level, well, the first 12 levels, and then we're going to t get the bosses I missed the first, the last time. So, exit's over here. I'm not even gonna worry about the enemies because there's nothing for us here. Okay, sub level two. Through and through. Be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, we'll just deal with this guy and it's just a matter of destroying that barrier. Hey, get back here. Okay, and down we go. At least didn't have to worry about the man at legs again. Lap jacks. Okay, so the exit's this way. Okay, successfully dodged. I don't like how close it's game, but... Okay, we're through. Sub-level four. Okay, so this was just a boss area, so... 
what I'll do is we'll just make a run for it. Yep, no need to worry about that one. Okay, six. Can't remember what six was. Oh wait, no, this is sub-level five. Okay, this is sort of a breather area. Okay, back to uh, all flower Pikmin. I suppose for efficiency's sake, I could have um, brought less than a full uh, party of Pikmin in, but hey ho. Oh no. Okay, lost a few there because of um unfortunate enemy placement, but could have been worse. I don't know how, but it could have been worse. Okay, we just need the exit here. Okay, it's up here. Okay, let's go. All the time I need to line the shot up. And I guess I'm up to 100% again. Could always turn the uh, Boldman into Red Pikmin or something. Yeah, might as well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I kind of like how the, the uh, they have that these sort of chill areas on some levels. Okay, sub level nine. We're more than halfway there. Oh god, I've 
Remember this now. Okay, we're just gonna deal with this guy, so... Yeah, I think we're going to have to run for this one. Come on, get round there. Oh dear God. Okay, it's up there. Right. This is very stressful indeed. No! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! <sighs> that was just cruel, RNG. Why'd they- why did- Why'd it do that to me? Okay, so I'm gonna have to repopulate my Pikmin, but it looks like this is just the level for it. Oh no, this is the worst level for it. We're going. Hey Blue, how's it going? How goes Pikmin tea? Uh, well, I'm just trying to basically uh, rush down this... through this uh, level. For the last two I uh, sort of bailed on. Okay, I can just... Oh god, they're coming. Yeah, I'm basically trying to rush through this dungeon with as many Pikmin as I can, so I can deal with the last two levels with more Pikmin. But yeah, it's not making it easy. Okay, fortunately it's given me a chill level. Okay, so what do I need more of? More blues. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's the exit. Alright, let's continue. So level 13 was what I was caught on at the start of the stream. So I'm in a much better place. Mr. Uh, Blue, you're working on defective merchandise part 3 prep. And you realise there was about an hour of content left, so you're giving us something to actually do in the session. Ah, oh, fair enough. Oh yeah. So that's the boss I managed to beat at the start of this session. As if that didn't take me like an hour. And next up we're gonna try and deal with um this floor. So we're gonna do this carefully. and take out a few of these weevils. Oh no, this has not gone to plan. Everyone with me. Okay, so I've acquired the treasure. It cost me like half my uh, Pikmin, but I've acquired the treasure. <sighs> so I guess what I'll do is... Maybe I should reset. No, I don't think I'm going to get better than that, because that boss is just mean. Yeah, so I don't know if you picked up on it, but I'm not actually very good at this game. Well, this is the final level, so we'll see if we can now deal with this boss. Okay, everyone's at the very least uh, got full um, flowers. Captains are at full of health. Oh yeah, speaking of um, D and D prep, I was doing some uh, prep for uh, for um, part two of Guinness Pig earlier this morning. I've got the final boss encounter planned out. Okay, cool. We can, yep, we can deal with those. Uh, 
Okay, that's knocked out quite a lot of my uh, Pikmin's flowers, so we'll just uh, try and reset that. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe if we stay around the perimeter, I can just deal with these first. Okay, that should make life a lot easier. Okay. Well, hey there. So, big stompy feet. Hmm. It regenerates. Wow. It's not that tough. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I it's taken me a lot of Pikmin to get here, but I can replenish my ranks before taking on the final dungeon. Who knows, maybe um, I'll finish up today. Icky, it feels a touch anticlimactic. Is this GG or not? Oh, drop the robot. Oh no, this is not the final dungeon. This is um the penultimate one. Remembered old buddy. Okay, and that's this dungeon cleared. So what I want to do now is obviously um, I need to replenish my Pikmin. Exactly, he, Rob was such a scam. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's great in um, Smash Bros, but I actually don't know. I have no idea what tears are like in Smash Bros. All I know is I just play Samus. Okay, so yeah, just one more uh, cave to complete. Just one more. No less you like Robin Smash. Oh, fair enough then. Okay, so what I need to think about now is whereabouts is the best place to, um, yeah, I think I'll end this day.
Uh, I need to remember where the best place to harvest better berries was. So, actually, I'll just look that up. Here we are, Pikmin Tea Farm, Bitter Spray. Okay, so according to game FAQs, if you're doing an eight day challenge, which I'm not, I can uh, get them in caves. Well, it's not telling me where the best place to gather them is. Although I think the second area might... No, wait, the third area might have... Ooh, that's a lot of dead Pikmin. I'm sorry. Nellis, Kirby's one of your mains, but you don't identify as a Kirby main because you hate spamming rock. Yeah, I always used to do that to my brother as a kid. Then you realised if you played Pikachu, you could just do the downwards lightning attack. Louis, you sent absolutely no replies. I'm worried about you. I'd like to come and see you, but I'm so old. All I can do is send you preserved bug foods. Oh, you mostly wanted to see what his uh, stolen abilities do. Fair enough. Oh yeah, let's go through the Piclopedia. New. Doodlebug. Doodlebug. Pili flaturum. Flintbug family. While life forms that excrete foul musks to warn of danger are not rare, the doodlebug is the only species known to release flatulence when active above ground. Interestingly enough, since it is merely releasing gas created by the cacao of contents of the creature's intestines, it does not have a special musk producing organ. This means the creature is in fact merely fluctuating. Spectral analysis of the rank gas indicates it contains only methane. Oh, not only methane, but hydrogen sulfide as well. Making the flatulence a grade 13 biohazard. Yellow candy pot bud, you must be out there somewhere. Raging long legs. Raging long legs. Pseudoarachina furandilis. Arachnor family. Arachnors boast wonder of biological composition with a silicon based exoskeleton and an inner coated with malleable heavy metals. However, much about these creatures remains a mystery as species regularly explode when they are dissected. These explosions produce scorching flames that completely melt all internal organs leaving us with a disappointing lack of information on the inner workings of the species. We must await the development of a new dissection process and more specialised research before we can better understand this enigmatic creature. However, the following observation notes have been recorded. It appears to be levelling terrain for some unknown purpose. Locations of eyes and ears not readily apparent. Freezing a specimen may yield new research opportunities. You've collected the Xenophorba series. 
Xenophorna series. Botanists will fog their spectacles over their, these wonders. You've collected the Crystallizer, Mo Crystallizer Motion series. With a flashy name, you can sell anything. Okay, so team, you are lots of sales pitches to read out, but we'll get to what we've unlocked first. Love Sphere. According to the ship scanners, this inanimate object has the capacity to love. Unfortunately, my love is already spoken for. Although, uh, notice Sphere fucker, Olimar. Remembered old buddy. I can't believe I had the fortune to find this thing buried underground. It looks like a component of a huge mechanical doll. It looks like just a part from a robot in a cartoon I used to watch as a kid. How nostalgic. This futuristic machine makes me feel like I've travelled back in time. Oh yeah, so these are all um, pieces you I could collect from... Like the gyro block was uh, used with Rob, I believe. Fond gyro block. Since I landed on this planet, I've encountered countless treasures that remind me of my childhood. I wonder why that is. I think it's because the objects we're discovering look just like things I had as a kid. This is one of those items. Memorable gyro block. The other day, I accidentally threw away my son's favourite toy. He wouldn't stop crying. Some things that seem unimportant to adults are treasures to kids. When I was a boy, I should have felt the same way about my favourite things. Now, my family is my treasure. Lost gyro block. When I observe this object, I can't stop myself from tearing up. Tearing up. I wonder why. It's hard to say, but it might be because some of these items remind me of the past. Favourite gyro block. When I was a kid, I always wanted my toys to be blue. Blue is such a cool colour. Well, it's certainly not a warm colour. Unless you're a lesbian. Treasured gyro block. Yesterday we ventured into a spooky hole. Previously, all the organisms we'd encountered were mass massed together in one cave. Had I not divided the Pikmin by colour and utilised their unique abilities, I'd have never made it out alive. In memory of my daring adventure, I named that hole the Hole of Heroes. R.I.P. to the hundred, well, like 150 heroic Pikmin who died in it. Patience Tester. In a man's heart, good and bad coexist. This conflict has made the mind of mankind into a complicated thing. It brought us war, but also culture and civilization. And here I stand worrying. Should I open the container in front of, containers in front of me and try eating the contents, or should I stand firm? Oh yeah, quick question for chat. If Kirby ate you, what ability would he get? Stringent container. Yesterday the ship accused me of sampling all the food we've been collecting. That ship has a lot of nerve. Nihilus. Sleep Kirby. Blue crippling depression max by give more personality. Are you both okay? I mean, none of us are okay, but are you okay? Copulent Nut. This Ronton Nut reminds me of the President's sizable girth. Lustrous element. This rare alien metal doesn't exist on Hokutate. When I gazed at it, I'm gripped with an overpowering sense of greed. On Hokutate, there is a valuable metal with a stunning sheen that has a similar effect. Perhaps this alluring metal is responsible for many of this planet's woes. Okay, that's deep. That's deep. Essence of true love. That's peculiar. When I gaze at this stone, all of my stress seems to wash away. I'm suddenly not so annoyed with my irrational boss and underappreciative underlings. 
I'm not even annoyed with the tight-fisted corporation I sleep each and every day for. Joyless Jewel. We found this treasure in a cave teeming with merciless creatures. But we did find this gorgeous jewel, so it wasn't all bad. Update. It turns out it's just plastic. So it was a bad idea after all. <coughs> okay, so uh, that's all of the um, journal notes. So let's get to the sales pitches. This creature holds the greatest concentration of knowledge in all the known universe. Oh, sorry, Omniscient Spear. However, due to its reclusive personality, it pretends to be a mere pebble. Crystallised telepathy. This fork crystal checks your stress levels with its telepathic powers. It is currently all red. Red, red, red. The world is filled with stress and this is the colour that represents our society. Love Sphere. One of the wisest beings in the universe, this entity also boasts a galactic-sized helping of love. However, due to its shyness, it will never speak of that love. Crystallised Telekinesis. This crystal is empowered with psychokinetic abilities. It is so inclined, it will use its mighty powers to do physical labour in your stead. When it will be so inclined is unknown, however. Merv Sphere. Another of the universe's most intelligent beings. This creature's entire existence, from the birth of the universe to its ultimate collapse, is dedicated to devising a very special joke. Crystallized Clairvoyance. This mystic crystal has the ability to channel energy between this world and the next. The spiritual connectivity will act as a life navigator for a positive existence. Okay, none of those are unlocked yet. What's the other one? Wow, my neck's kind of sore from being in the same place for the last um, hour or so. No less, this marble has a genie inside it, but he's very shy. Source, trust me. 50 bucks. <laughs> exactly. Oh wait, it was the seed collection, wasn't it? Science project. The perfect plan for extra credit research for a Kokotati Elementary Pupil Science Fair. You can be the dad to rely on to help with homework as long as you possess this beauty. Pilgrim Bulb. Life finds a way across galaxies. Can a plant from a primitive planet take root in Hokotati's soil? Won't you invest in this romantic pursuit? Arboreal Frip... Blech. Arboreal Flippery. Frippery. Arboreal Frippery. That's hard to say. Perfect for those who love natural designs in their home. This leaf of pleak is a bargain. Use it in pieces or cover an entire wall in leafiness. Conifer spire. Life is full. Exactly, Nellis. A boiled flippery. Frippery. What's that word so hard to say? <laughs> oh boy, frippery. Life is full, but short. Is this one of those short-lived life forms that changes shape as it ages? Even though it has dried out, it has not lost its unique charm. Armoured Nut. This common, ordinary nut somehow reminds me of myself and fills me with sadness. Corpulent Nut. This fellow has consumed more nutrients than necessary and now possesses superior, for superior fatness. In our harsh world, this is a lifestyle to envy. Nolas, is it good frippery? Did you get it from yon local fripper? Frip frip. Okay, so we're going to uh, head to the collecting pool. We're going to try and top up. On berries.
Nellis. Is the frippery a good frippery? Did you get the frippery from Yon Fripper? You don't actually remember that line that well. You haven't seen Holy Grail in eons. I'll be honest, I didn't even realise you were referencing Holy Grail. Okay, die. Uh, we seem to have lost one. Oh, there it is. Nellis, for some reason the stuff with the shrubbery and Knights of Knee stuck in your mind. But not as well as the it part. Yeah. Like, to be fair, I think there's a lot of uh, bits of that movie that, you know, people just don't remember. Oh, hey, Bissaberries. Run! Run! Okay. That could have gone better. Lost like 15 Pikmin to a random monster. But I think we need more blue Pikmin, so... There's a flower over there, so we'll go get that. Jeez, barely any flowers among them.
Okay, that's an improvement. Oh no. Oh come the heck on. I forgot they regenerate. my life. I completely forgot that those particular enemies regenerated. I suppose that's on me really. Oh well, can't regenerate while it's grounded to pulp. You for real? Okay, so we'll just harvest these. And that'll probably be the day.
That'll be fine. That'll be fine. They'll be fine. They weren't fine. But that's okay. Now, if any luck, just before the uh, end of the day. Oh, cool. They're all. Are they all flowers yet? Not yet. There we go. It's happening. Okay, all flowers. Uh, we're missing one over here. So what we'll do is we'll return these to their onion and go um, rescue the last one. Where? Oh, there you are. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we'll end that day. Try not to think about the Pikmin we lost along the way. <laughs> uh, I guess the takeaway here is... Um, There's no point in trying to uh, farm the older areas, so we'll just go back to uh, the Wistful Wild and harvest some uh, ber uh, the uh, faster, you know, the fastness berries, the uh, spicy spray. Yep, so let's grab those. There we go. Missing a couple. Oh, there they are. So we'll just head to the berry harvesting location then. This jerk's back. Get wrecked. Oh, 
Okay. And this way is clear. Okay, so yep, just do, gonna do some chillberry harvesting. Some chillberry harvesting. So chill. got one. Going back yet? Oh, there we go. Okay, and I think back to base camp. And um, what we should really do next is uh, just sort of um, open the way to the um, final dungeon again. Did we leave any behind somewhere? I don't think so. Okay, we're missing one person. Well, one Pikmin. I mean, Pikmin are people. Just because they're human doesn't mean they should be dehumanized.
Oh, no, you don't. Okay, that should do it. Now, where's... That one missing Pikmin. Okay, there apparently. Oh yeah, go do something about those guys. Okay, so the bridge is out again, so I'll need to have my um, blue Pikmin uh, deal with this. So we'll see if we can get on that uh, before the end of the day, but probably not. If anything, we can probably thin the uh, enemies out a bit. Okay, just get as many of these up to um, flower stasis. There we go. Okay, let's get on this. Okay, this could be going faster than I thought. You know what? Let's grab these pellets and go. Hopefully they'll be able to make it fast enough. I'm not sure they will. Yeah, they've got time. Just double check no one's been left behind. Oh, bother.
Oh no. I've made things a thousand times worse. <sighs> God, I think I left one behind. Yeah. Sorry, Pikmin. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm just going to go for a quick peek. But then we're going to continue. So I'll be right back. Everyone in chat, behave yourselves. Okay, and I'm back, and I remember to unmute my uh, microphone. So yeah, I've taken the jacket off because it was uh, ironically getting a bit warm. So yeah, uh, back to the game. There we go. Hmm. Okay, cosplay thoughts. I do like the uh, strip, but I might actually say about making it a bit darker. 
as I said earlier, the uh, sort of inspiration for it was a PB from um, Mass Effect Andromeda. Who is uh, just one of those characters who seems to be a, been a bit divisive, but I will defend with my dying breath. Not the game though, the game wasn't that great. But yeah, uh, back to the Wistful Wild, and we're going to try and open the way up to the final area. And, I don't know, it might be a long one. It might not be. Either way, we're going to need some fighting Pikmin. Okay, that jerks back, but we don't need to pay them any heed because we're going this way. Oh, come on, how come you get to respawn? I'll oh, go groink yourself, you damn groink. Okay, looks like I need to bring Poison Pikmin with me. Those can be ignored. Oh wow. Don't even think about it. The heck did I tell you? And you're attacking my base camp, you little fun of mucker.
Oh, shoot. I, I need to remember it regenerates. Right. Are there any uh, red Pikmin? Okay, yeah. Some have been left behind. So we'll deposit a few of you. 11 to be precise. Take out all of you. Okay, cool. Okay, you guys got left behind. And we'll have to hope that they can do that in a reasonable amount of time. But while we're waiting, we'll just... Send these back. Might as well go grab the other. Oh god, what have I done? No! I... I messed up. No, what are you doing going that way, you stupid little Pikmin? Why would you do this? <laughs> you okay? Okay. He's okay. Okay, they're nearly done. It's 
So what I'll do is I'll go back to the camp and put my red Pikmin away so they don't get uh, lost again. Okay, you're over there. Come on. Back to the hive with you. And then I'll go check on my poison Pikmin. Love how the uh, president does that little waddle when he's running. They done yet? Ah, oh, yeah. Rise to our Sacred Brioche National Anthem, TASMR. Now let's see. This is the final area, the Dream Den. Uh, yeah, so we need a fully mixed team. Not entirely sure we'll have enough time to get back to it by the air. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll have time to run back and bring back my full team. So I guess we're going to um, end the day and we'll get back to this tomorrow. Now we don't really have many um, White Pikmin left, but this should be enough. So what I think I'll do is, I'll take 10 of them, and then I'll divide the other 90 as 30 of the other types. Because purple Pikmin are usually optional. Actually now I suppose if I, um, Uh, yeah, I suppose if I take 10 white, 10 purple, and then I can divide the other 80. Well, this is going to be it. The final dungeon. So, 80 divided by 3 does not make sense. Hey Armadillo, how's it going? But if I take... Yeah, so if I divide this by here... Uh... That makes sense. And I'll just take 25 for everything else. 
I'm just off on the way to uh, tackle the final um, dungeon of Pikmin 2. My hair being wrapped around my horn is fun. Ah, oh, thank you. I quite like the style. It's pretty much uh, sort of the uh, style I um, did that sort of mimics Amsterdam, but of course there's a horn in the way. So that sort of um, lock of hair I've incorporated into my ponytail wraps around. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool to sort of um, think about how I'll style my hair uh, with horns. Okay, so most of them are... There we go. Hey, get back here. Okay, let's go then. Let's get to it then. Might as well try smashing these just in case um, there's a few um, free uh, sprays in there. Nope, apparently not, but oh well. Let's go then. Into the dream den. The uh, final uh, dungeon. And yep, so many Pikmin. Sadly, it's not a perfect ratio. Uh, they sing the original game's theme song if you do that. Okay, sub level one. Okay, one of these for the muckers. Okay, that was a bad start. Come on, try it. I dare you. Okay. Gotcha. That cost me two purple Pikmin, but... In the end, I triumphed. Let's see if we can find some of this treasure. Hey Douglas Quaid, how's it going? Going pretty well, good to hear. Hmm. 
just let this uh, Y Pikmin uh, diligently destroy this. Don't want to draw any aggro. How dare you? Okay, this isn't good. Oh. Okay, that cost me uh, a Pikmin. Right. Okay, it grabbed a white Pikmin, which killed it. Karmic, I guess. Great start for what's basically the um, first level of the dungeon. Okay, there's some treasure. Oh, and there's a nasty enemy. Unpanned. Oh yeah, so if it wasn't obvious before if you um, managed to drop a Pikmin on top of them. It's uh, basically uh, one hit kills them. Oh, and the treasure's collect collected. Name, Disguise Delicacy. And that's all the treasure on this level, I guess. Yep, kiwi good. Who doesn't love a good kiwi? That's the way out. Okay, we lost five Pikmin, but maybe it's not so bad in the next few levels. Still, 17 levels to go, so 
This is probably not going to be finished this stream. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. any other treasure on this level <laughs> Nintendo 64 pencil implements of toil pencil sharpened from both ends I guess uh, let's do some scouting yeah the ship lights giving um, everything very dramatic names So, looks like um, the, the uh, gasoline groin, groin has a treasure, so we have no choice but to... Oh, for goodness sake. Why are you going this way? The one on the tower is being absolutely boss, Judas. Exactly. Name, Manuel Hona. Okay, that is thankfully all the treasure. Now the annoying thing about gasoline groinks is they regenerate. So we're going to take it to the ship where it can be um, properly disposed of. I'll say, yep, that tower is ridiculous. Not because it's um, an unfair challenge, but just because the pigment keep falling off it, so it's basically impossible. But yeah, the uh, next level is just this way, so let's go. Exactly, Armadillo. Break it down to its component parts before it breaks every last pigment. Yeah, basically there are two enemies who are literally are cyborgs with guns on them. And it's only partially ex explained.
Okay, these bombs are dangerous. Ah! the mucker run that was horrendous A GameCube control stick. Name Glee Spinner. Okay, and apparently that's every treasure in the area. So now I just need to find the way out. Which is apparently up here. Oh no. Okay, we are getting the heck out of here. Yeah, like every Pikmin is just in there. They are basically like carrot ants. So their one strength is uh, basically attacking relentlessly in a swarm. Oh dear. You know what? Okay. Okay, on their own, these uh, aren't so bad, but with those um, electric ones, dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. I'm upsetty respit. I'm upsetty resetty. Yeah. I am not losing like twenty Pikmin just to one unlucky attack. Let's try this again. Okay, it's going to fire us at the uh, corner. Perfect. And now before it has another chance. Gotcha.
Oh no. Okay, that is BS. Not as upsetty, regretty, resetty. Exactly. Yeah, so basically what happened now was it knocked them off itself and over the edge because, you know, this entire level is just tiny, tiny corridors. Okay. But still, this should be doable. I suppose I could try just taking purple Pikmin with me and uh, just going for like a precision assault. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, exactly. Doable, just fiddly. In fact, we're coming up to the, the three hour mark, so I don't know, maybe I should give it a rest here. You yeah, know, I can go on, probably go on a bit longer. I mean, after we're done here, I'm probably going to raid into the next stream and uh, hop in chat, uh, hop in voice chat there. Okay, let's see. I just had an absolutely despicable idea. Yoo-hoo! Okay, this is not going to plan. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, come the heck on. Come the heck on. Okay, so I think maybe what I should be doing is uh, throwing the purple Pikmin to stun them so they can't throw my Pikmin over the um, edge. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should start having um, lunch later in the day so because I'm feeling kind of hungry in it right now. So maybe if I uh, eat lunch later, I won't be so hungry during streams. Okay, this is pretty dire, but... Whoa! Whoops. <sighs> yeah. Oh. 
I mean, this is sort of on the cusp of fair and unfair. On the one hand, it's kind of obvious how you can do it. On the other, like such a deceptively low margin of error. Seriously? Okay, you know what I'm doing? It's time for drastic measures. I call this uh, approach leading from the front yeah we're dark souls in this Oh no, what are you doing here? Okay, let's try that again. I have uh, no idea how those yellow Pikmin ended up in my party, but the principle is sound. Okay. But yeah, uh, just going in with the captains and beating enemies up is actually quite viable because Armadillo, they're excited to help. I mean, yeah, I can't fault their enthusiasm, but they needlessly put themselves in danger. And it costs some of them their lives. And that's not being a team player. Yeah, if we deal with these, then um, the uh, lo ele the uh, poison hazards and electric bugs are pretty easy to deal with. Yeah, I wonder if I can. Uh... Nope, guess not. Okay, there's one. Haha! -ha. I am nailing this. Yeah, it's great when um you can they can deal friendly fire. And to be fair, it doesn't actually take that much to just knock them down. Oh, 
Oh no, he got the boss. And to be fair, the captains are immune to quite a lot of the hazards, so. To be fair, that's, they're not, it's not like that out of the gate, but... Yeah, exactly. Get Rex. Oh, overplayed my hand. Oh, well. Okay. Well, get back here, you fools. Oh no! I'm sorry. And this purple Pikmin can just heft that one back on its own. I'll give him some help. Exactly, armadillo. Yeet. Or as more cultured sorts might say, yeek.
Oh no! Oh, shit. I'm a terrible Pikmin mum. Yeah, it died doing what it loved. I seem. You're glad they uh, love it, absorbing electric damage. And that's all the treasure on this level. So there's no need to go around here, I guess. Sub level four of seventeen. Wait, no. Well, I don't know how many sub levels there are. You know, what? I'll just get, uh, double check. Sub levels, so we're not quite halfway there yet. Oh, 14 sub levels, there's another 10 to go. Ah, well, we'll he head to the next level, and maybe I'll call it there then.
luckily um, every Pikmin will uh, follow suit when I jump, so, you know, maybe one more level then we'll call it. And I can finish off the, uh, finish off on uh, Wednesday. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to finish today and have Wednesday just being a D&D prep stream, but you can't have everything, can you? Yeah, what have we got here then? So I'm just going to Dark Souls this guy. like he's got some treasure on him. Okay, got ya. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the red specifically because there's a lot of fire around here. Slow sucker. Name Insect Condo. That's all the treasure in the uh, area, so... No point hanging around, I'm just going to run for the exit. This looks like a boss area. Oh, nothing there.
Armadillo. Still for an apple car. Exactly. Oh dear. Okay, that was chaotic. Ooh, this looks like a big one. Yeah, the shifting sound effect is pretty cool, to be fair. Name. Future Orb. Okay, and apparently that's all of the, um treasures on this level. Let's just find the exit then and we'll call it there. Don't mind if I do. Okay, there's the exit. Wild and the jellyfish turn into a crystal ball. Yep, it has been known to happen, I guess. So we'll just scope out this last, well, not this last, this uh, sub-level and see what happens. Oh hey, we're in hell. Yeah, we're done here. But yeah, uh, we'll get back to this on Wednesday.
Thank you for the quote, Armadillo. <sighs> I mean, you all know me. If uh, we were actually in hell, the first thing I'd do is pull out my CV. Anywho, uh, yeah, I guess we'll find somewhere to raid out to. Oh yeah, thoughts on this cosplay. Still sort of need to think more about the lipstick. Maybe I'll actually try and get another darker shade of purple lipstick. Because uh, basically what I did was I did the food colouring on my inner lip, but that's not really lasted. But yeah, uh, what we're going to do is raid uh, Nick, who is currently uh, streaming a video game themed music thing. And then I'm probably going to hop into voice chat with him. So yeah, I think of it as a sort of continuation of this stream. But yeah, uh, same, uh, same as usual. I'll uh, be um, uploading this to YouTube. I'll just put a link to YouTube in the my uh, YouTube channel in the chat. Um, Wednesday I'll be um, playing more of Pikmin. Hopefully I'll make it through that final dungeon. And that'll be uh, that for Pikmin. So obviously there'll be a vote for something else. Thursday, Nick Goggles and I will be um, streaming the uh, DLC for Dialtown. Just like old times. That'll be some chaotic fun. And Friday, I'll be on here again. And I'll be um, running some more D&D. Part 2 of Guinness Pig. In which um, the uh, party try to make it to a mysterious wizard's lab to find more about their um, sentient black pudding friend. But yeah, I'm rambling a bit, so let's start that raid. There we go. I really love the effect of this uh, dark strip. You know, maybe I could go a bit darker and like, as I, well, I think this is like the third time I've said this, but it was sort of inspired by PB from um, Mass Effect Andromeda. So maybe if I go a bit darker next time, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. And yeah. Thanks as always for dropping by. Armadillo, it's cute. Ah, oh, thank you. Yep, thanks as always for dropping by. Um, if you're watching this uh, VOD on YouTube, like, on some subscribe and considering consider dropping by to the actual Twitch channel to see, catch these live. And we're going to raid off in three, two, one. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, and everyone on YouTube, you're still my favourites. <laughs> 